중요하지? 너도 갇혀 봤잖아. Welcome back, everybody. Today's episode is all about the weirdest and wildest of level 1 moments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's hop right back in with Yanni's perfect invade counter. The best part is the wall hook drops the dredge line cooldown by half, so now he's got a hook and Blitz becomes a cannon minion. This is some genius routing and pathing. 7th Zora manages to sneak through without Malphite seeing him and pay close attention to this ward he drops. This cheese is genius. It puts Elise so behind, and Sion's even coming to lane slightly ahead in gold, and it looks like equal in EXP. You call this civilized? This is 200 IQ by Klepsidra. He waits for the Annie to walk away to get to lane, then goes to disrupt the invade. Watch his positioning too. He makes sure the blue buff is fighting with him and not against him, and works to keep that tempo lethal. Woo! Watch Midby's work this worked ground and his positioning to get as much DPS as he possibly can with these threaded volleys. Anything he says, toss it out the window. Oh, you We're panicked, back. buddy. Australian 24 7 goaded. Not only do we have the best premiers with the best lockdown timings, but we also have fantastic beer. How was your Chrissy, my G? Cousin, we him up, kill him! GG, 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 me and Ezreal, dude, G.
I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was the Yumi that hopped off and caught that hook. What the heck was Teemo doing there? Okay, next up we got Tyler running into a little bit of a surprise. Take a look at the map real quick. Blue team is executing a double invade. Fiddle is cleverly setting himself up for a level 2 plus a smite steal on red while Rengar pulls everyone bot side. So after Lord of Cheddar smites away this red, Yone has to choose between committing for the kill or losing even more in his first wave, and even with Zed rotating to help now, none of them have any CC. Tom's grasp and low health Q healing is not to be messed with. Even with this massive minion and level disadvantage, the Kench has a lot more life in him than it looks. Oh le con. Oh oui j'ai eu Oh oui Oh la 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 I think Garen tried to ignite me. Got him! This is a me oh, oh my yeah. god, this is a Wait, mess. Stay, stay, stay! stay. Go, go, go! Um, oh my goodness! Yeah, chasing into a Sivir level 1 is death. Here's another play by Aileron Roll, and watch for this quick level up. Back, back, back. Back to me, back to me. Right. Oh, he was one hit from me killing him. Auto him once. There you go. Yeah, that was my bad. Okay. Oh, uh, nice job. Oh, auto him. 
There you go. Let's go. I like like this. With set, I guess? Okay, sure. Oof, this is risky, bruh. This is risky, bruh. This is risky. Whoa, what? Wait, what? Why'd she hop? Why? Oh, you better bet she's going for that Lilia marker. Blue team also has a pretty big positioning and slight health advantage in this 3v3. On Callista? What? Is this legal? What elo is this? What elo is this? I was uprooting. Action! I sit in bush, I do a little bit of cheesing. Oh! Yo! You don't see a solo invade Shen every day, but this one's running Ignite and Lethal Tempo. And I cannot believe that worked. Coming up next, Akonko is an absolute menace, and this auto attack should be illegal. Oh, if you come, this is killable. Oh my god, I greeted the auto. I don't think he's gonna kill him. This is like the perfect bot lane for lethal tempo Tarek. Double melees basically means Tarek becomes the ADC. Sorry, Jun. What is this game? What is this game? Hello, TikTok. <laughs> no, it ain't done. It ain't done. It ain't done. Don't click off the video yet, guys. And there it is. I just want to point out real quick that this is a Master Yi ADC. And I'm not super sure how this lane works out into Caitlyn Lux, but I'm sure it's much better starting off with an extra 1300 gold. Da, da, da.
Nice, good job. Tähän me haistellaan. Tästä taitaa tulla, tästä tulee late invading, counter invading nyt taas omalle sideille. Siellä saadaan stuni nyt tässä nurmia sieltä konnektaa hyvin Leona. Eke, voi ottaa eksausti nassi ja asia joutuu pläsäämään. Joona, se on nyt vähän pulossa, ne joutuu smaittaamaan ja flasäämään ja keh... Öö, taikki nappaa sitä Red Buffina, flasää hyvin Ashen perään ja meikälään se... CK Master is, not gonna lie, a little crazy for going this hard. Turns out Master Yi is starting blue buff, but he's asleep or something. Either way, let's just say that this tongue don't miss. In the melee 1v1 kills, level 1 isn't as bad as it used to be, especially with her E available as an execute. Next up, turns out Nautilus's level 1 ain't too bad either. The dot damage from Corrupting Potion plus his W as well as the Grasp heals makes a massive difference in this fight. Oh god, that was a millisecond from disaster though. That's gonna do it for today's episode, all on level 1 moments. Remember to drop a like if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you want to see some more. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next episode.